Hello everyone, it's Matrix here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do the easter egg on the stadium and how to get the assault rifle, the Amex uh, Enigma, which is an absolute dope uh, weapon. I'm going to show to do how to do the code solving uh, the legit way with the access card, but I'm also going to show you how to do it with a glitch. I figured it out how to uh, uh, get the gun. Uh, where you can access the rooms without an access card and so you don't have to do have to find all the access cards which is really hard to do uh, especially if you are alone but there is a lot of enemies who pick up the the cards so you really want to learn how to do this but first in the first eight minutes I'm gonna explain you how to do it the legit way <laughs> So before we get started, make sure to subscribe if you are new and hit that notification bell if you want to find out about the newest glitches on my channel, as uh, my channel is a glitching channel. Uh, but I also do easter eggs, uh, and especially when they are fun like this one on the stadium. I glitched into this room already uh, without any access cards, without doing the coding. But if you glitch in this room without doing the sequence with the coding, you're not going to find this new assault rifle, which is absolutely dope. You would find it here right down there by the uh, laptop but uh, this way you can't find it now what you need to do to find it to get it done with the, the legit way is you need to find the access cards and you got three rooms to exit uh, to enter with these access cards and the um, access card are the p216 for the parking garage the CL19 for the concourse and the EL21 for the top floor, the executive level. These access cards can be found in the stadium near the accessible rooms, but they are not always like near the precise room you want to be in or get in. I recommend to do this with some teammates and I also can tell you that you only have to do have to find two cards uh, because you can decode the coding with only two code sequences. I'll get that to that uh, once I have showed you all the locations of the accessible rooms. First I will point out where the exact rooms are because uh, they are kind of hard to find in the stadium and you don't want to go looking around and trying to find them so I'll show it to you directly. You want to access the parking garage first and then you want to go down to parking level 2. So you drive down here, you go around the corner and there you will find the first accessible room which you can access with the access card uh, which is down here on, at parking level 2. The second one is the concourse room which is right uh, around uh, the pitch level um, which is around this spot. And you can really uh, easily get to that spot once you keep on driving uh, in parking level 1. You just go around the corner and there, here you will find this staircase. You want to go up this staircase and then go to the doors left. And you will get in the concourse room with the bar and stuff. And here you will find the second room. Uh, also, uh, if you look outside and you see the broken roof, it should be across the map and then you will find the second room. The third one is actually on the top level, the executive level. And what I do here is I enter the stadium round about this spot. Or you can also do it across diagonally on the other uh, side of the stadium to find a staircase first. Because you need to go up uh, or you can also glide in through, through the windows, but I will show you the staircase because it's pretty uh, handy to know where you want to go uh, if you are down. Uh, once you have uh, reached the top level, you just want to drive all the way to this corner if you have used this staircase. So I'm going to quickly go over there and you will find in this corner, you will find the third room which you can access with an access card. And last but not least, you want to know where the boardroom is and where you can actually uh, put in the code to open the doors for this new easter egg. Which is just a little bit further than the executive level access room. Uh, you're just going to go a little bit further near the broken roof. So in the middle there, at the, above the entrance, the main entrance. 
and you want to come to this door or you ex either want to walk around to the other side because there's actually two doors which you can use to go in there now let's go into the decoding this is really easy actually you see all the codes that uh, are on the screen and you want to write down this code and translate the symbols to a letter of what you think you would call it so in my case i go a one a chinese mark a chinese mark a zero i call this a weird symbol because i don't know what is a two a chinese mark and then the roof symbol so we do want to remember this code and we want to go to the next room uh, where I got into. I did this with a glitch, but uh, if you do it with a card, it doesn't matter. It's all the same. Uh, the next code says a 1, a Chinese mark, a Chinese mark, a roof symbol, a 7, a 2, a Chinese mark and another roof symbol. So now we can translate these two codes to one code and then uh, try any combinations uh, with the remaining letter, the C in this case. So now we have the 1. The R is the 0, the W is the 7, then we have the 2, uh, the C and the R. But any R is a 0, re remember, because that says the first code, code which is uh, same to the R, the, the fourth letter we got in the second code. And all the numbers we have left in this code sequence are the number 3, 4, 5, 6, 8 and 9. So now it's really easy. We can just try any code. Instead of the letter C, we can use the 3, 4, 5, 6, 8 or 9. I flew my way up to this window and uh, walked to the boardroom where we can use this interface to try the codes. Uh, I was uh, looking at the paper uh, at the same time, so I'm starting off a little bit slow here. But anyways, we're going to start with the 1, then try the 3 first, right? So we're going to go 1, 3, 3. Uh, 0, 7, 2, 3, 0. Uh, this wasn't the code. So then I moved over to the number 4. This is all very explanatory, but I'm just going to show it to you guys how it works. 1, double, 4, 0, 7, 2, 4, 0. That didn't open uh, the doors. And I believe it was the number 5 that uh, did the job. Uh, so we go 1, 5, 5, 0, 7, 2, 5, 0. In this case, And there we go, we open the door and that is how you can uh, get uh, the gun if you use an access card but also if you uh, use my glitch method to go uh, in the secret rooms which I'm gonna show to you guys now. Um, it's really uh, not easy, I have to warn you for that, it's not easy to breach but uh, I can also say like using and finding the access card at your uh, own solo trying to do that solo is really difficult as well as enemies are picking up these cards there is a very big chance you're gonna get killed by enemies because there's so many people in the stadium uh, because because of this new area and um, I'm also like before I try to uh, say uh, if you access this uh, boardroom with a method you won't gonna find this gun this is how you can enter the boardroom uh, first of all uh, but you won't uh, find the gun that way you really have to do the code sequence to get the gun and uh, therefore uh, it's really easy you're gonna do uh, a glitch method uh, that is an old method that was found by someone then was patched um, a long time ago and uh, I found it back on all the doors that can be opened by codes, easter eggs and all that stuff in Warzone. I found it back later myself, uh, so I'm after patch founder. I've never said I'm the original founder of the method, but I was keen enough to find it back uh, after many patches. And uh, this way you can enter the, the access accessible rooms by yourself without any key card I've done this twice and I'm gonna show this in actual gameplay as well first I'm showing all the three rooms how to enter them it is really not easy uh, but you have to practice but still I I did this within one hour so I think uh, it's way quicker than trying to find access cards and um, it's really hard to do that uh, on your own um, even with two or multiple people it's not that easy I've heard people say uh, they have been trying this all day long and uh, then they've eventually got it but um, my recommendation if you want to have this gone quickly do the easy uh, quickly is to practice this 
uh, mental method over the A to V. You can access all three rooms. I preferably uh, use the parking lot and the one in the concourse room because they have a longer run up and the one where you have to do the back mantle is way harder than than uh, using the front mantle uh, because you have to turn your camera around and you're really gon not going to hit it the first time uh, you have to turn your camera around so that's really annoying I would really recommend to do uh, it the front side in the concourse room and the parking lot here you see in the background that I actually breached it at the first time and found the gun at the first time in the very last minute when you where you see like uh, the overtime is nearly run out. I found the gun here ex in the very last seconds of the game which uh, I started this morning uh, trying to get it and I got it in one hour and then I had to re record it for you guys to show it that I can actually do this within a game. So this is the actual gameplay. I cut it a little bit up to uh, take away all my tries to get in. Uh, you'll understand that of course but just watch this and this is the foolproof that I got into it. Enjoy uh, the rest of the video. I hope you really uh, enjoyed explaining and I hope it was good enough. It's not easy to make a video like this but please please drop a like and subscribe if you are new for more insane glitches or easter eggs my name is matrix and i'll see you guys the next time ciao